So here's a question for you. Uh, you know, do you trust the election system in the state of Maryland? Given the problems they've had with these touchscreen voting machines, we, we're very lucky to have Linda Lamone, administrator of the Maryland State Board of Elections, on the line with us right now to answer a few questions about this. Linda, thank you so much. First of all, how many uh, actual machines do we now know, I want the exact number, have malfunctioned? Great question, and and I want to put it in perspective. We have approximately 30 units that have been um, reported to us as having a problem. Over half of them are technical in nature. Um, A calibration issue, the card gets stuck in the slot, and they can't get it out. So that leaves approximately 15 or slightly less that uh, have been reported uh, by the voters as having a problem. And uh, we have... um, well, hold on a second. Some of them. I, I, have... I just want to get clarified. This is there aren't that many machines that are actually in use right now to compare to what will happen on election day, well, right? That's correct. We have a, a slightly under 900 uh, units out there, um, but again, 30 units with issues. Uh, over half of them have been technical in nature, so it's not that many that uh, have been reported as having issues uh, by the voters. And importantly, there's no confirmation or verification of the issue. We haven't been able to replicate it. And really important, all voters were able to fix whatever their problem was. Well, and, the reporting has been on this, that in each and every one of these instances where a problem was reported, it was somebody trying to vote for a Republican, and it registered as a Democrat. There have been no reports of the reverse. Why is it with this technical uh, error, this click, this glitch, this problem that you have, that it always seems to work in favor of the Democrats? I, I, a lot of people listening to this program really want to know the answer to that question. Well, there isn't an answer. I mean, if people... As I said, people were able to fix it if there was an issue, and people should remember three things. One, they should use the tip of their finger when they touch the touch screen. Two, they absolutely have to review the summary screen before they hit the cast vote button. And three, if they have any questions whatsoever, please ask the poll workers for help before they vote and before they leave the the, uh, polling station. Um, it's really, really important that the voters remember those three things. So now it sounds, when, you, when you, you just reiterated that people need to use the tip of their finger, so it sounds like you're suggesting that part of the problem might be that if the voter has a large finger, they're trying to, to hit one box, but uh, the bulk of their finger is actually hitting another box. Is that what you're suggesting? Well, that's one possibility, sure. Um, I mean, we have seen this before, um, and that's why we try to remind the voters to use the tip of their finger Carefully review the summary screen, and if there's any question whatsoever, ask one of the poll workers for help before you cast your ballot. So when you say that of the 30 machines that have been reported, 15 of them had issues that were technical in nature and calibration, can you describe what the calibration, that's what we keep hearing, this is a calibration problem. What exactly does that mean? Sure, and and with the calibration problem, it happens to every voter that tries to use that particular voting unit. And what what happens is where the little boxes that you touch isn't actually over top of the um, thing and behind the screen that would record the vote. So it's gotten out of kilter a little bit. So um, when so when you go when you 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 go to push the little box that you think you want to vote for, but but the part of the screen that actually receives the data senses your finger and senses your finger is is sensing that you're actually uh, it's not sensing it hitting or or it's sensing it in an area where you didn't want it to sense. Correct, and we have I don't know I think about uh, five voting units that that's happened to, and the poll workers are instructed to first of all. Um, direct the voter to another voting unit and then take the one with the issue out of service Um, because, again, it's repeatable. It's something that happens more than it will happen with every voter that tries to use the unit. So uh, we don't want to have anybody else trying to use it. And so we take it out of service, and then, of course, we count all the votes that have been on it, if any, uh, before the calibration uh, issue happened. I'm reading a story in the Baltimore Sun, And it says that Republican Party officials 
have said that they received complaints from about 50 voters in 12 different Maryland counties who say that the Erling Volley Centers flipped their Republican votes to count toward Democratic candidates. You say that you know of 30 cases. There seems to be a discrepancy about how big this problem is. Well, I think one of the problems is that um, we're monitoring the, the voting system real time with the poll workers. A lot of these reported um, problems have been made by voters after they've left the poll polling station. So there's no way for us to capture them, and there's no way of knowing whether it really happened. I mean, I'm not saying these voters are not telling the truth. It's just that we can't verify it. All right. Can you understand why this concerns some people, given in a, you know that it's always in favor of the Democrats in a state that is two to one Democrat over Republican? I don't have an answer for that. Well, you you, it seems, you, don't, seems like you the, don't know why it would. I mean, I don't understand people. why it would always go one way and not the other occasionally. Yeah. Well, we don't know that the word "always" is applicable, do we? Uh, well, all the reports that we have seen, I haven't seen any report that suggests that the other is happening. Have you? No. Okay. Um, can I ask you this? What what uh, are you planning to put into place for Election Day uh, in terms of personnel on the scene at polling places to uh, detect problems and to be able to intervene if these uh, problems occur? Well, as I said before, the poll workers are trained to deal with issues with the voting unit and with voters having issues um, voting on the units. And, again, we are we always stress... And, we, and the poll workers know this, to tell the people to use the tip of your finger right. to review the review screen and ask for help if they need it. Would, it. would it be wise to have a hotline for people to be able to call in and report these issues directly to the Board of Elections rather than uh, through the various levels of communications? Well, we have a hotline. You do? Oh, yeah. great. 1-800-222-VOTE, V-O-T-E. And that's what you, people should be using to uh, to report any problems that they have? Yes. All right. Give us the number one more time. 1-800-222-VOTE. And have you always had that, or is that new? No, we've always had it. All right. All right so uh, what kind of assurance can you give us as the person who's in charge, as the administrator of the State Board of Elections, that this will be a fair election? Oh, absolutely. And and please, the, the voting system is thoroughly, thoroughly tested before each election. And uh, the, the the technicians that do the testing are well-trained. They're nonpartisan. They, they're, we, if there's any issue with any voting unit whatsoever during the testing, it's not used on Election Day. There's no way to insert any software into any of these um, units. The security surrounding the voting system is very robust, both before and during the election. And please, your your listeners should know that we do everything humanly possible to make the system as secure and accurate as possible. And to make sure that no dead people vote, right? Yeah, well, we, yeah, we try that, but it's Halloween. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, listen, Linda, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate you joining us here to answer some questions that are very much on the mind of many voters. Well, thanks, guys.